Hey everybody, this is Poji Joe, and I was just thinking about how in the last video I posted, I think it was the first time I ever mentioned that I eat a plant-based diet, and I'm not here to preach to you, do whatever you want, it's a personal decision that I made uh, based upon my ethics, but I also wondered that if people wanted to know more about things that they could get at their local grocery store, whether they are or not vegan themselves, uh, that might be something I could provide. Uh, it's not a sponsored video or anything. This is literally just stuff that I've come across because I've been vegetarian since 2014, vegan since 2017. Uh, that's, I think that's about it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Aldi. Um, it is a German supermarket chain. There's a lot of them. My family used to go to it a lot growing up, especially because the prices are very, very fair. So, being that it was um, so affordable, I was surprised over time to see them investing so much into vegan products. But as you're about to see, they have quite a few now. It's very exciting. Um, so they do have some fake meats. They have these beefless crumbles and these chickenless strips. Uh, they also have meatballs, which they're they're fine if you put them in <laughs> sauce and stuff. You, you'll enjoy them. Uh, and a certain amount of veggie burgers, including uh, a fake kind of Beyond Burger style burger that I just tried for the first time. Of course, they have tofu. I find tofu kind of hard to work with personally. Uh, I like it when it's in things, but uh, I find it kind of a hassle sometimes to deal with from scratch. But anyway, they also have fake hot dogs, so there you go. Um, I would just be on the lookout because not all fake meat is vegan. Like, they do have these fake... Uh, nuggets, but they they have egg in them. So just just check on the back see if if you really go on all the way To see if they have anything like that got to have them fresh vegetables and fruits um, And uh, they have a lot of good freezer items as well including they have this nice uh, sweet potato and cauliflower blend that I really enjoyed however, there's also onion rings which surprisingly it can be hard to find vegan versions of a lot of them do have egg in them, but the Aldi version does not. And just any kind of potato. If you're a vegan, you know the power of all the potatoes. Let's not forget about pasta. You know, you can have your marinara sauce and all that. That's just a standard, of course. Pasta and rice. And please, please don't forget the sauces. Soy sauce, teriyaki sauce. Now all these fake mozzarella, it's its not great. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. It is there, you can try it. It's not my favorite. However, they do have these new like fake mozzarella sticks and those are pretty good. So maybe they're still figuring out the vegan cheese thing. They, I know a lot of people are grossed out by vegan cheese. There are some really good brands. They are out there, you just gotta look for them. Um, and of course Aldi also has a really nice selection of alternative milks too. There's um, regular almond milk, chocolate almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, uh, soy milk, all the standards. I, I personally really enjoy oat milk a lot, but uh, almond milk is pretty good too. And of course, uh, tortilla chips. Chips are, you, you can usually find a lot of good vegan chips. Um, they also have these cauliflower tortilla chips. Some of them claim to be nacho flavored. I wouldn't say it really tastes like nachos, but they do taste pretty good in their own right, so maybe give them a chance. Uh, they also have these green pea crisps that are a good snack, lest we forget, peanut butter, vegan. And of course, I don't think I could get by without a various assortment of uh, kinds of nuts, because they are delicious. Bread, gotta have that, right? Bread. Just double check and make sure there's no egg or anything. And these little Pillsbury crescent rolls, vegan, surprisingly. I was very delighted to hear that. And we sometimes do like little mini pizza style things with them, which are pretty good. Aldi also recently, at least at least in our lo local locations, expanded its alcohol selection, if that's your thing. They also have various forms of hummus, which I adore hummus, but they even have dessert hummuses, which are also vegan. Like they have a couple of different specialty ones around Christmas time and stuff, but they typically have these like fudge ones that are just really, really good with some crackers. They also have fruit gushers and fruit gushers are also vegan. It's another one of those weird things where, um, at least as far as I know with my uh, you know, generalized sense of it just not having egg, not having meat, not having 
uh, gelatin or anything like that. They are, they are vegan. For a few more dessert items, these fruit bars, these frozen fruit bars are so good. They, they don't taste like popsicles sometimes I do not like because it just tastes like a bunch of ice. These really do taste like actual fruit. It's delicious. And they also have these new little chocolate chip mini cookies and these little, I think they're called brekkie bites. I guess that's cute. Um, and there's Sam. Oh, hi Sam, how you doing? Now I know that Aldi only operates typically in the Eastern half of the US, but we all have a Target, I think. That's not the Target near us. Uh, that's just a stock clip. Now Target's obviously gonna be a little bit more expensive, but I'm just trying to show you places that if you look around, peek around inside, they, they might have some stuff that you don't even realize they have, like Target now does stock the Impossible meats and the Beyond Burger meats, which is pretty cool. Uh, they actually have a really nice selection of various uh, fake meats. Again, check to make sure that they don't have egg in them or anything like that. But my absolute favorite is Gardein. Gardein makes some of the best fake meat products. Um, they haven't disappointed me yet. Okay, well, their one soup that I tried disappointed me. But oh, other than that, every other thing I've tried for them is so good and so delicious. They even have fake deli meats, which is really good for packing lunches for me and stuff like that, and fake hot dogs. There's even something called bitchin' sauce, which you just gotta try it. It's, it is indeed bitchin', and it is vegan. And they even have some new plant-based uh, queso-style dip and a buffalo-style dip. I really, really like the queso one. And they actually have a pretty big assortment of various plant-based yogurts now, too, which is pretty cool. They do have one readily available vegan pizza as well. And Annie's has a lot of plant-based products. I do really enjoy their fake mac and cheese is really good. And please check the international aisles at your supermarkets because they often have some really good stuff. I used to live really close to uh, a Middle Eastern a supermarket, actually several, and they had a lot of really, really delicious stuff that I was able to eat. Uh, and sure enough, even in Target, they have things like these tea biscuits, and they have, oh my gosh, I absolutely love these uh, noodle bowl things that you can get. Now, it's only good for one meal, of course, but they are really, really good for lunches and maybe a quick dinner if you're feeling a little lazy. Um, these rice chips are pretty good. And I also really, really love this everyday doll. It is so, so good. Soup can sometimes be hard to find because people like just randomly throwing beef and bacon into everything, but uh, you can usually find like some lentil soups. And sometimes if you, again, if you just look around, you can find some Amy's stuff that is usually uh, no meat and any of that stuff. There's also these little uh, rice packs I sometimes take for lunches as well and some of these uh, reheatable rice things, also good for lunches. Furthermore, uh, these fig bars, Nature's Bakery, they are pretty tasty, a little bit expensive, but um, I guess it depends on what you're willing to spend. Same with Kind Bars, not all Kind Bars are vegan, but they do have a few flavors, like the dark chocolate cherry cashew that are. And then we got fruit cups, we got different kinds of granola, and I'm a big breakfast person. Uh, usually any cereal that's like corn based is usually pretty safe. I, I really, really love Life Cereal. Raisin Bran is great. Uh, you can get your Special K. Again, just make sure that it's not one that has milk in it or anything. And even things like Captain Crunch, you wouldn't think are vegan, but as far as I can tell, they are. And of course, the various kinds of chips for snacking on and stuff. Our favorite is the Voodoo Chips by Zaps. They are so good. I uh, highly recommend those. We also really love Ritz's new Crisp and Thins. Um, our favorite was not on the shelf at the moment, but the salt and vinegar and the barbecue flavors. Both vegan, both very, very good. And once again, in terms of desserts, these cookies by Sweet Lawrence are also plant-based. And Target has a whole non-dairy section of desserts, ice creams, and all assortment of paraphernalia. It's a little understocked at the moment, but you can just see, especially the Ben & Jerry's have quite a few really, really, really good alternative ice creams. 
And shockingly enough, actually, I think all Oreo products, except for the ones coated in chocolate fudge, are also plant-based. They don't have any milk or anything in them. It's always really fun to try the new flavors, I think. Uh, it's really kind of a special thing that they continue to do that. So thank you, Oreo. Pretty cool of you. So there you go. Um, I mean, those are only two stores, of course, but pretty much almost any store that you shop at. There might be options like that that might surprise you in terms of their availability or in terms of their price. So uh, if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them in the comments. And thanks for checking this out. See you later.